This is this is a non-discussion until you understand what it takes to to draw your weapon in a situation like that. Well, explain I, that to someone I, who you've forbidden from defending themselves. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by. The Rafton Apple Festival's great. It's the last September Sunday date. I would not characterize it as a war-making vehicle. Um, it is a piece of equipment that enables one to get from a safe area to a not <coughs> safe area. And if we put the same argument in the side of those SWAT members and those police members who have to put their lives at risk, I, I support a vehicle such as this to get you from that safe area to that area to gain access. Um, as many of you know, I have a long military career where I did this kind of work, um, and any kind of gear that helped me do this and safely um, made my decision-making process better, and you had a higher chance of mission success. It's Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. Sorry, I have to give yeah, Bob Dole handshakes if you want. <laughs> so, yeah, I, you know. And that that would help a lot. And I realize that you might get some teachers that aren't trained with weapons, but that, those that's of the us whole, who that's are. The, that's the big issue with that is um, you can train people mm -hmm. to carry a weapon, as you know. Yeah. You can train people to shoot a weapon. Mm -hmm. but, there, but there's a whole big difference when you've actually pulled a weapon out and you've had to side, side right. in on something. Right. When your life is at stake, but yeah. there's no way I can protect my students by hunkering down behind a wall or something. If they're going to come into the building and start shooting, that bearcat's not even going to protect me. The only second, thing that, that can protect me yeah. is myself with my weapon. To You're right. Protect my students. You're right. But the, the what I think is, and having been on a gun ship takedowns and a lot of other stuff, um, having a piece of gear equipment that provides me the cover and the concealment. Um, not concealment. It will until they jump out of right. it, though. <laughs> but it does provide you that access, I think. And, uh, you know, we don't, our schools are not designed as a uh, combat operating post. No. Spencer, I, I've got a question for you, actually. To, to what extent is the school board, I mean, I'm glad you're caring about school safety, but to what extent is the school board part of the problem by, doesn't it restrict teachers from arming themselves? No, no, none of the none of the teachers are currently allowed to carry a firearm. So doesn't that make you part of the problem and responsible for anything that happens to them? Problem? Well, I guess you're right. I guess I am a problem in the fact that I haven't made a motion that we should all arm all teachers. But I don't think that's a solution either. Well, shouldn't you maybe let the teachers decide? But, no. I don't think the teachers should decide. What about the average that. person who's do just I think? Do I think? I think a bunch of experts should decide whether it is prudent to arm teachers. Um, and we've done. We've we've allowed pilots to be armed on aircraft, um, and they go through a very um, comprehensive shooting program. Um, but I think to do this, we need to study that and see if if we can do that with teachers. I mean, you're f familiar with the Hippocratic Oath. I mean, right. you're supposed to above all do no harm, and right. you're you have done something that affects the outcome. You've That's taken right. action that forbids people from protecting themselves, right. and that makes you, doesn't it, responsible for anything that happens to them? Does it make me responsible for, for preventing the, the? Well, it, you know, if I don't shovel my sidewalk and someone slips, I'm responsible in a way. Am I not? No, I mean, I. it is a slippery slope when you start looking at arming the teachers because the training involved to get a teacher who has never carried a firearm to the capability where they are competent to do it is one thing. What, what I understand is, what, which a lot of folks don't understand, what it takes to draw your weapon in that situation. Well, at least it gives them the fighting chance, and you're f I'm sure you're familiar with this concealed. Yeah, yeah, but I, I know, I understand the concealed weapon thing. I understand it all, but again, this is this is a non-discussion until you understand what it takes to to draw your weapon in a situation like that. Well, explain I, that I, to someone I, who you've forbidden from defending themselves and I, in a firefight. Pardon? 
And explain that to someone who you've forbidden from defending themselves in a firefight. Well, in a firefight, if I'm in a firefight, yeah, I certainly want everybody armed. But I've been in firefights where folks who were armed and didn't, didn't pull their weapon. That's the whole thing. And that's the thing that folks need to understand. You can, you can train people to do that. Um, do, do I think that folks should be uh, should armed? You know, I, 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 you know, do I suggest that? You know, to a certain extent I do. But I also believe that you have to go through a comprehensive enough training program. And you do have to screen the folks that do this stuff. know that the Grafton Apple Festival is now on the same day every year? It runs basically all afternoon, the last Saturday in September. There may be a bizarre vehicle race this year, and you can make some cider with their antique uh, cider thing. In any case, it's your chance to experience the freest town in the freest state. Grafton Apple Festival's great. It's the last September Sunday date.